Hey y'all, Funtime here. Uh, all the, not all the, but like here is a work in progress so far. I'm on bag six now of the Legos Jay's Titan mech. This is, I'm trying to collect all the Titan mechs. Because I missed out on season 11 for the most part, but I did buy Lloyd's Titan mech. And I have the rest of the Titan mech since. Like Cole's Earth Firestone mech. Well, it's kind of, you know, Kai's at this point, but yeah. So I've been building this. And I'd say it's a really good mech so far, honestly. I, of course, I don't like how open that is, but... And the pieces are kind of flimsy, but, like, other than that, it doesn't look too bad aesthetically. It's really, really good, but I don't like the scrawniness. I understand lightning is supposed to be thin or something like that, but, yeah, I don't like how it's... I mean, I like All right, so your boy is back two to three hours later, and I have finally finished the mech. This thing's weird because how thin it is, and like the hair on the mech is quite weird too. Like I have to angle this up just so it can stand, not stand, but like you know, lay flat. But yeah, this is a really cool mech. I do like it, and this is a long sword. They weren't kidding on Lego. Lego wasn't kidding when this was a long sword. They said this was a long sword. And these are bl and there's some blasters on the side. I'm not gonna review this because it's Lego. I mean, I would if if you guys would like to see it, just let me know. But my reviews really ain't that good, like professional quality. So I'm just gonna keep it in this video right here, TFP update. But yeah, I do like how it looks. The blue, whites, and golds look really nice. But the bad thing is, it's yellow. But other than that, it's a good it's a good set, honestly. Other than that. Alright, since 2020 is over, like three years later, I'm probably going to take these sets down, probably, and put them in a tote. Like, this one will get its own specific tote, because, like, I don't want this breaking or anything like that, because, you know, how structurally sound it is. And these joints right here, they come off so, so easily. I know I'm not supposed to do Lego, I mean, I'm, I know I don't do Lego much on this channel, but, like, I gotta think of something, honestly. Because, like, I've pretty much shown everything for the most part. I don't want to risk dropping this. So I'm reviewing, not reviewing it, but I'm going over this on the floor. So I have Kai's Mech Rider Evo. This set right here. It is completely built. And I'm not going to review it because it's, like, pretty. It's what you see is what you get, essentially. It's exactly on the box. It's just, like, a little bit different. Alright, so my next review will be, this is all over the place at this point, but my next review will be the F Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Bonnie Jumbo 10-inch plushies. That'll be my next review, probably tomorrow or the next day, probably the next day. So I want to try to be more consistent on here. Last month, not my last month, last year I barely uploaded and same with 2021 and 2020. Like I had serious burnout or something like that. But yeah. So. Just to recap. Alright lads. So we're back with the update. It is now the, the. I think it's now the 11th. Since I you know, made that video. Like. Jeez it's been a while. I think it's been like two days. I mean it's been one day. Sorry about that. Okay so. What we what I did here is I added the tie-dye action figures. I added Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Springtrap. I guess Springtrap more of that glitch trap, um, you know, overpowered look. I don't know really know what it's called, but like it's something like that where he's controlling everybody. I mean Foxy's just with his pirate hook ready to ready to slice someone. Helios doesn't get age restricted. Chica with her cupcake. Bonnie looking professional. Freddy with his microphone. And I don't put my accessories on action figures usually because I'll lose them. I have like my bag in my closet with the action figure accessories. So this was the only update so far. FNAF wise. And there hasn't been really that much since the room tour. This is like recording before the room tour. But once you all see the room tour, it's going to be drastic, honestly. It's a drastic change since my last layout. But I'll, I'll show you some sneak peeks because, like, I don't want this video to be, like, less than five minutes. Because I've been gone a while, here's a FNAF 1 update. I don't know if I've shown this in the past. 
I'm, I really don't remember. But here's all my FNAF 1 premium merchandise. I really don't know how to describe it more than premium, honestly, for the most part. Um, Freddy, Freddy, Bonnie, Bonnie, Chica, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy, and Foxy. Hero Worlds, better FNAF 1 related, 2 inch figures, and then the Funko Racers. And I should mention, I finally got the Foxy Reversible Heads. I found them at a Florida Hot Topic, which is pretty cool, honestly. Alright everyone, so that is it for today's update. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Sorry about this one's kind of lackluster. I really don't have anything to record at the moment. I could record the snaps. I'm getting off topic, but thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much. I really do greatly appreciate it. Thank you everyone for everything, and yeah, bye.